Good morning. So in this video, I want to talk about cocaine, sweets, business people, and profits. First, we'll start with cocaine. Cocaine is highly addictive, as we all know. Sweets are highly addictive, as we all know. And some studies show that sweets are more addictive than cocaine. Imagine that, you can buy sweets anywhere. I often wonder why somewhere carved into my heart is the love of, I may salivate as I go over these things, cheesecake with strawberries on top, or fresh baked chocolate chip cookies, jelly stuffed donuts from Dunkin Donuts, French crullers, chocolate glazed donuts, Mr. Softy milkshakes, all kinds of ice cream, the bottom, remember we used to take the Italian ices and flip them over and eat the sugary part off the bottom? I often wonder why, as an adult, and being educated on how uh, bad and addicting sweets are, why do I still crave those things? They're just written on my heart, stuffed in my subconscious mind. I just, they're just so good. So, what happened, I think, is that when you're a kid, you're, uh, you're broke usually. You don't have good transportation. So these things are limited to whenever your parents get them for you, so they regard it as a treat. Ice cream truck will come by, go begging our parents, hey, 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 the ice cream truck's here, give me something. And sometimes they would, sometimes they wouldn't, but it was restricted and it was like a treat. So then when we become adults, we have transportation, we have income, we can overindulge, we can get as much of these sweets or junk food. The junk food is a different video. So we overindulge and we keep it going. So now, nowadays, I think it's uh, common knowledge everywhere that eating simple sugar is not a great idea because of the effects it has on your body, raising your glucose levels, its effect regarding insulin. So we say, all right, we gotta cut down on these sugars. So now we've went into sugar alternatives. Stevia, forgive me if I mispronounced this, erythritol, I think I said that pretty good. Uh, monk fruit, um, agave nectar, there's so many things. So we found alternatives. Now, back to cocaine. I've never done cocaine. But I believe it takes you out of reality and to somewhere uh, I'd like to describe as La La Land. And if cocaine's your thing, I don't mean to offend you. This is just, just my guess. So cocaine is a substance you do and it, and it takes you somewhere else. So cocaine's probably not good for your heart, at least I've heard that. So should we find something that has the same effect of cocaine, but is friendlier to our heart? Is that the answer? Now, back to sweets. Should we find sweeteners that have a similar effect that satisfy that, I'm gonna say something crazy, that fat boy or that fat girl palate that we have from a child and have brought into our adult years? Should we find something that has that similar effect? And keep it going, keep keep the addiction that is not good going because we've found possibly an alternative? I don't think so. I don't think we should find a replacement for cocaine and I don't think we should find a replacement for sweets and then overindulge in those. Now the reason why I put sweets and cocaine together is because this is a study you can look it up on the internet. This is a study that's always compared. And they say that the sweets are more addictive than cocaine. So, in the name of doing better, being better, being better than we were yesterday, we should move away from bad things, not find replacements for them. So, on the market today, you will see 
all kinds of goodies. You'll see keto donuts, keto candy bars, keto this, keto that, overnight oats this, overnight oats that, and, and, and because it doesn't have the actual sugar in it, it has a replacement in it, we think it's okay. But what we're doing is we're perpetuating this sweet tooth, which is not a great idea, and it's something we should be moving away from. So, you might ask, hey, so just absolutely nothing sweet for the rest of my life? Yes, you can have things that are sweet, but don't overdo it. Don't use it as a crutch. Oh, I'm having a good day. I'm going to have some sweets. Oh, I'm having a bad day. I'm going to have some sweets. Oh, I'm bored. I'm going to have some sweets. It's not a pacification, but the less you have of something that is that we know is not great for us, the less you're going to crave it. So, in moderation, if you want to have something sweet, try an apple. Remember apples? They're actually really good. Try some grapes. Remember grapes? They're actually really good. Somehow we've moved away from nature and into all these products. So, the overindulgence in these new generation sweets that are supposed and then they got thrown into the health and fitness community look at this it's a round bite of cookie dough or something and it's healthy no it isn't read the ingredients look at this this is a, a healthy cookie eat as much as you want look at this this is a healthy overnight oats with children's cereal in it eat as much as you want Back to the business and the profits. In business, you want to be profitable. You want to make money. So guess where there's a lot of profit? In selling you all these replacement sweets that are supposedly healthy and loaded with protein and all this and that. Back to the cocaine. If they came up with a synthetic cocaine that had the same effect and was better on your heart, I'm sure the profits on that would be through the roof also because going to Colombia and cutting down trees and turning it into powder, that's got to be expensive but if they can manufacture something that has the same effect and sell it to you, the profits are going to be really high on that. So, I've said a lot of words. What I'd like you to take away from this video is if you have an addiction or you have something that you're participating in on a regular basis do not find the alternative that's a little bit better because that doesn't fix the problem. That keeps the problem alive and it keeps you in denial. If you're not getting better, you're getting worse. Those are uh, some great words to live by. So kick the bad habits, start the new habits, and have a good day.